Hello, it's Alex Yao with Remax Like Properties. And Chris Cornbro from Four Front Mortgages. And we are in July, so this is your market update. Alex, yeah. what's uh, happening in the market now? Summer's uh, here. Well, the summer's heat, definitely. The heat waves over, maybe. <laughs> well, everyone's trying to get out, so um, yeah. it's getting towards more of a typical summer, I think. Um, the activity's down, definitely and uh, noticeably less listings and deals as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, can't blame them. I mean, <laughs> the weather's perfect. Uh, yeah. Restrictions are mostly lifted. That's right. Yeah, and we're only a foot apart. I know, it's right? Great. It's so weird. weird. I think everyone's just enjoying the sun, enjoying, mm -hmm. you know, their, I, I know some people that are actually traveling, mm -hmm. um, but of course it depends on the destinations, uh, COVID restrictions as well. But uh, right now we're seeing, you know, people are taking their time. Buyers are still there. Um, they're just taking their time. You know, they're take, they're thinking over. They're seeing all that's available on the market. So, um, and they're just making an, a more educated decision, which I think is great. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So overall, uh, stats for the last month. Vancouver East houses went down 0.8% in price. Vancouver West went up 2.2, which is actually interesting. But typically, it's the other way around. Yeah. But I think uh, Vancouver East actually had so much activity over the last six months because yeah. of the price gap yeah. with Vancouver West yeah. that it's actually super close now that they're starting to bridge apart again. People are going from uh, east to west uh, versus west to east. Yeah, yeah, of, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, prices for the east side, I mean, you hear about that house that sold for $4 million, $4 million on the standard lot. I didn't hear about that, but that's... Oh, yeah. wow, yeah, yeah, that was all yeah. of the news. And uh, $4 million, Vancouver East Side, down Main Street. New how new build, 33 by 122. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, last year, this time, it would have been, you know, 3.2. 3 and wow. now it's 4. Yeah. So, um, anyways, Vancouver West is starting to go up. We're starting to see that break again. Mm -hmm. uh, townhomes are still hot. Uh, Vancouver East Side went up 2.1%. Vancouver West went up 1.1%. Condos, Vancouver East went up 0.1%, so not much. Uh, Vancouver West went down 0.6%, so this is probably a typical uh, fluctuation. Mm -hmm. Townhomes are still hot though. It's um, The price range is within reach of most yeah. locals and, and yeah. families, double incomes mm -hmm. and so forth. And uh, they just want more space. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I think people are still wanting more space right now. Outdoor space, yeah. air conditioning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So overall, real estate has cooled down a little bit. Uh, price is still up there, um, but uh, I think the summer months will be will be quite relaxed. So inversely related to what to the weather. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But uh, September might pick up again. But we'll see. I think so too. Now, what do you think? What's going on in the mortgage world? We're the same. Uh, slowed down last week or two, but I mean it's expected. Everyone's kind of back to normal, traveling a bit, especially within BC. Yeah. Um, and the summer is usually slow, so yeah. and rightfully so. People should be out enjoying, you know, all that Vancouver and yeah. BC has to offer. Yeah. And probably less time in front of a laptop on, yeah. on MLS is not a bad thing yeah. for for mental health and yeah. for balanced uh, kind of balanced market. Yeah. So rates are still low. Stress test, kind of like a non-event. I mean, didn't really have a hiccup in our business in terms of affecting any first-time home buyers or anyone. And Mine either, but yeah. I've heard some realtors that deal with a lot of first-time home buyers, yeah. like, like you said, they, yeah. uh, they they got hit a little bit by that, but yeah. I haven't felt it. Yeah, no, not really. I mean, I think people just adapt or, you know, come up with a little bit more down payment, for yeah. example. Yeah. Um, lots of pre-approvals, though. I think there's going to be another wave of folks um, looking to entering the market, certainly. And I think when immigration opens up, when the borders yes. are open, yes. we're going to see a lot of people, I think, come here right. uh, from wherever, um, overseas, obviously, yeah. uh, and snap up some properties, which will be maybe good, especially for the, the pre-sale side yeah. of things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think uh, right now we're enjoying a little bit of relaxation. Mm -hmm. um, the market's a little slow. Yeah. Uh, the buyers right now taking their time and negotiating, which mm -hmm. is great, it's fair. Totally. And uh, hopefully we'll get a lot more, you know, hardworking Vancouver rights into homes throughout, throughout this kind of lull. Yeah. yeah. Um, and start building their wealth. So um, I think September though, we may be looking at going back to the traditional trend of a fall market. Mm -hmm. but, uh, mm -hmm. but we'll and see. that's usually September to like November-ish or yeah, so? Yeah, well, usually, usually the last week in November or yep. first week in December usually. Yep. And then people start prepping for holidays and, yep. and so forth. But, uh, but yeah, so Enjoy the summer. Yeah. I hope uh, all your families are safe and vaccinated. And uh, we'll see you next month.
Thanks, Alex. Thank you very much. You're welcome.